Patrick Massey. Uh, this is, uh, I think, really what, what I think most people are kind of interested about is how long it took to build. Um, I actually started this June 1st, uh, which is when I registered for Brick Fiesta. It's our very first convention. So uh, I told myself, I'm going to try to build something big, something awesome, you know, kind of make a little bit of a big show for our first convention. I just say that I bit off a lot more than I could chew. So took a lot of uh, shortcuts and some sneaky things. This is the best angle to look at it right here. I'm not going to show you the other side. So no, it's, it's really not that bad. But uh, I always like to plug, this is actually for the guilds of Historica on Eurobrix, which is one of the big, you know, you have the lands of Roia. It's these it's big, like, role-playing. It's really the pinnacle of the castle building genre. It's like, it, it's pretty nerdy, okay? But uh, I always like people that are interested in castle building, that's how I, I feel like, that's where I cut my teeth and got really good because some of the world's best castle builders, you know, everybody knows uh, Luke Watkins Hutchinson, who, Durfel Carden, that's where he started, you know, and uh, again, some of the other builders, we had uh, Terrell Brown here earlier, who uh, kind of, that's where he started, a fantastic castle builder as well. A lot of people know him as Blue Fiji on Flickr and stuff. But uh, So that's that's pretty much what it's for. I had a lot of people say, so is this Doctor Who or, or Game of Thrones? Like, mm, well, well, neither, but... Uh, yeah, but. exactly. So you mentioned you started this like June 1st, and we're at the beginning of July here, so about a month for this, this whole build. Right, right, yeah. absolutely, <laughs> and still trying to like work and sleep and all that. So it literally was not finished until yesterday, about 11 o'clock last <laughs> night. So... Yeah. Um, well, very cool. So if you want to kind of walk us through it, maybe start with the bottom and kind of all the rock work and then talk about the building you've got on top. Yeah, absolutely. And this was supposed to be a collaborative with Terrell Brown. Um, and unfortunately, we, we both had some things come up and we live like 16 hours apart and we just couldn't get everything yeah. together like we wanted. So this is really my, my part of the collaborative. Um, so he was gonna, he's got a lot of it built, but the surrounding swamp. So this is actually, you'd have to imagine it being set on a huge swamp. So I kind of just did a little bit of it there. Um, the whole idea of this is it's really supposed to be kind of like an island set in a swamp, uh, an old like temple, kind of like a monk's abbey, a priory is I guess what I end up calling it. Um, and uh, really just one way to get to it is the boat down here. You know, it's just real reclusive. Of course, you got to be like in great shape to make it up that, that hill right there. Um, and yeah, you get in the top and... Uh, I, I really, to me, the most challenging part of the build was was the round roof. You know, you, there's a lot of round towers, but you just don't see very many round roofs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually was so intimidated that I did not, I did not even start the roof until Thursday night. Like, and and I was like, surely I'll figure out something in a few hours. Like six hours it took me to build that, and I'm, I'm not particularly excited with the way it turned out. I had to stop messing with it, but, yeah. uh, <laughs> but it's definitely um, it's not the biggest I've built, but the tallest, and I think probably the probably one of the more detailed ones so but um yeah that's about it i guess you know yeah, um it's, it's a really impressive build so i really like how you did the the rock work if you can talk about more kind of the technique you use there in the different slope pieces yeah sure you know it's i have to say this is really a, it's a rather simple way of building rocks i think um a lot you see a lot of people really get into the snot technique to build rocks which is great you can get some great angles and dimensions but it's it's very difficult to go on this scale with that so the most intimidating thing about it is really just starting. And I started right here at this corner. Just I was like, I'm just going to build a little flat spot, then I'll eventually put a tree, and then the mountain's going to come up. And it's really, I don't know, you just start small and you keep adding, you know. And I, t for me, is like most people would think when well, you want to make it real, rad, real random, but when you look, I feel like you'll catch certain patterns. And But, you know, look, uh, ro you know, natural rock formations do have patterns in them, you know. They're not just completely random. So I think that's really important to capture, you know, kind of an authentic look. Um, so, yeah. That's Definitely. What's the, what's the structure like on the inside there then? I like to, the thing is like an engineer's dream on the inside, you know, because I try to be real efficient to keep okay. the weight down. Um, really, the best way to think of it is there's a skeleton on the inside, and then uh, and then the rock is just kind of like a skin around it all. So um, I meant to have. I always like to do lighting with with my with with my models. Um, unfortunately, I left all my lights at home. It's all like set up on the inside. I've got it where like the LEDs are already in there. I just don't. I forgot the like battery pack to put them in. So that's okay. kind of a bummer, but. Uh, um, and I'm also like, I, I spend a lot of time photographing my builds too. Cause I, you know, I realize you know, uh, that 
hey, look, a, a good photo can make a can make a bad mock look good, and vice versa. You know, a bad photo will make a good mock look terrible. And and one of my favorite things to do is use like a fog machine, especially with these like swampy kind of eerie sure, builds. Yeah. So you should def you'll definitely you know if if anybody knows me on Flickr or something, they'll see this and they'll see a nice awesome picture with the lights and the, and the smoke around it and stuff. So okay, but, yeah. Well, that's really cool. And uh, what's your Flickr username if people want to check out more stuff? Uh, it's Mass Editor. Okay. Yeah, or just Patrick Massey. You can search me on there as well. So, um, but yeah. Very cool. Sounds good. Thank you. I appreciate you talking to me about the build. Hey, appreciate you guys. So, And I love the channel. So, awesome. All right, Thank keep you. up with y'all doing. It's so awesome to see you guys uh, highlighting these folks out here. So. Yeah, well, we, we love it. So thank you. All right. <laughs>